What's up, Skate Fam? This is Dustin Brawley. And I'm David Lolliet. You're watching Double D Skate. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome skate fam to the most difficult tutorial I've made yet. Not to discourage you, but this move is a beast to master. Don't sweat it though. If you follow the double D formula for learning it, you'll own this trick in no time. And not only will you look awesome throwing it down on any surface, but you'll also learn a drill that utilizes all your edges in one trick. The first thing you need to do is familiarize yourself with my edge theory and some of the language present in it. To do that, check out the video link in the description below titled Skating Edge Theory. Also, you need to be able to skate sideways comfortably if you want this trick to look smooth and powerful one day. Don't worry, I have a tutorial link below for that as well. Once you understand the six points involved in your edges, we're ready for the next step. Understanding how this trick works in motion and then being able to break down the individual steps involved in it are two major keys to figuring out the barrel roll. First, you need to see an X shape in your mind on the ground. Try to roll your feet back and forth on the ground, extending them out, and then crossing them over each other. Do you see the X? This is the foundational core to the barrel roll. Now for the core steps. I like to call these first movements the heel toe or the two step. To initiate this move, begin crossing your right leg in front of the left like this, going on to the left toe. Kick out the right foot, placing the left foot flat and the right heel out. Switch your feet, lowering the right foot to flat and raising the left heel. Next, the tricky part. Cross the left leg in front of the right one, allowing the right foot onto the toe. Then reverse that last move back onto the left heel. Switch to right heel, cross the right leg in front of the left this time. Heel, heel, toe. Heel, heel, toe. Heel, heel, toe. In order to learn the barrel roll and be proficient at it, you need to practice this trick and really get it down. As you can probably see here, the barrel roll is this core heel heel toe movement while traveling in a circle and spinning 360 degrees. Don't get discouraged, you can do it. An important point. First, you need to understand that during this move your balance will be rocking back and forth between the front and back edges, but to smooth it out, you need to involve the center edges in the transition. Don't worry, we'll get there. You can try rocking back and forth like this, from heels to toes, as slowly as possible to make your transitions smoother. Remember, you don't have real control of a movement until you can do it slowly and smoothly. Another point to make is that when doing the barrel roll, you will only be doing the pattern of heel, heel, toe one time and then you will need to step one foot behind the other to begin the rotational pattern again heel heel toe step heel heel toe step heel heel toe step now let's try the barrel roll begin in the same position as with the heel toe trick when you kick the back leg from the toe to flat allow yourself to roll a little bit. Each time you change positions, it's the flat foot that will continue the roll and motion. A less obvious but important detail that completes the barrel roll is the fact that I'm actually moving on the inside and outside edges. Also, I'm really just skating with my weight on one foot at a time. Look closely at the edges I'm on. Inside, inside, outside, outside. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. That is the purpose to this whole exercise. That is how this drill trains all of your edges. Constantly shifting your weight from front to back and inside to outside means you are rolling your balance between the back and front, inside and outside edges. And doing it slowly forces you not only to gain real control over each your front and back edges, but also utilizes the center edge to smooth out the transition, taking control of all six points in the feet in one exercise. Make sure to do this in both directions so you really train how your balance stabilizes on each point of the foot. Let me know if there's still something you don't understand 
or that's missing from my instructions. And I will try my best to help you when I can. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you think it's helpful so it can be seen by more skaters who need it. And please support us by subscribing to this skate channel. You can also click the bell next to the subscription button to ensure you get a notification every time we upload content. This way you won't miss any tutorials or fun skating content. Thanks for skating with us today, and we'll see you the next time we lace up.